insects make up the largest group of animals on earth. Insects are found almost everywhere in all kinds of environment. Insects are invertebrates, which means that they do not have a backbone. All insects have segmented bodies, divided into a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They have three pairs of legs, two pairs of wings, and two antennae on their head. Let's learn more about them. These tiny insects are very common around you. Yes, you are right. These are ants. You may not find them interesting, but some amazing facts about them will really surprise you. Are social and very hardworking insects. They build their own ant hills and live in really big groups called colonies. These colonies are well organized. They have multiple chambers used for different purposes. Each colony has a queen ant and its only job is to lay eggs. All other female ants are workers or soldiers. They collect food, build nests and protect the colony. do not have lungs. They breathe through small holes on their body called spiracles. Ants are omnivores, eating both plants and meat. Ants are super strong. objects 20 to 50 times their own body weight. We all are fascinated by these beautiful colorful butterflies. Butterflies have four wings, not two. They taste with their feet. They have two antennae that they use to smell, navigate and even know the time of the day. Do you know what these butterflies eat? Butterflies live only on liquid diet. They have a straw-like tongue which help them to sip on nectar and juices. The life cycle of a butterfly is in four stages. Egg, caterpillar, pupa and adult butterfly. We all know honeybees because they sting. But do you know they are useful insects? Honeybees are social insects and live together in colonies or hives. They are hard-working insects and live a disciplined, busy life. Each hive has one queen bee. Its only job is to lay eggs. Male bees in the hive are called drones and workers are all female bees. 
worker bees do all the different tasks needed to maintain the hive. Do you know it's female bees who sting? Male bees cannot sting. We get honey from honey bees. Bees make honey from the nectar of flowers. The honey bee plays an important role in the pollination of flowering plants and crops. Honey bees dance to let each other know where to find the best nectar, pollen, or nest location. We all have seen these brown or green color jumping insects called grasshoppers. Grasshoppers have long hind legs that help them to jump great distances. If humans could jump as grasshoppers do, we would be able to easily leave the length of a football field. Grasshopper's ears are located on its abdomen. Grasshoppers are herbivores. They feed on plants and leaves. When grasshoppers are picked up, they spit a brown liquid to defend themselves. Locusts are species of grasshoppers. They often gather in huge groups called swarms and can destroy entire fields of crops. Have you ever seen a dragonfly? Dragonflies are some of the most colorful insects around. They come in a wide range of colors. Many are shiny and vibrant. Dragonflies are found near rivers, swamps, lakes, ponds and streams. Dragonflies hatch from eggs in or near fresh water bodies. Their larvae live in water. Dragonflies feed mostly on other insects. They are expert hunters. They don't stink or bite. Dragonflies fly faster than most other insects. They can fly in any direction and also can instantly change the direction of their flight. And they can hover like tiny helicopters. Who doesn't love a ladybug? Ladybugs are small flying beetles. Sometimes they are called ladybug beetles or lady beetles. They come in many different colors and patterns. The colors and patterns on a ladybug is signal to predators that they might taste horrible. The most familiar is the seven-spotted 
Red Ladybug. Most ladybug species are considered useful insects. that damage crops like aphids and scale insects. By doing so, ladybugs keep the farm crops healthy. Praying mantis is the only insect that can turn its head 180 degrees. Wondering how they got their name? The praying mantis looks like it's praying when it holds its front legs in front of its body. Praying mantises are carnivores. They feed on crickets, grasshoppers and many other insects. Mantises help farmers by eating insects that eat their crops. Praying mantises are masters of camouflage. They come in the form of leaves, flowers, sticks and branches. Orchid mantis looks like a flower with body parts that resemble petals. The ghost mantis has a dry leaf like body. Cicadas are among one of the loudest insects. Their loud buzzing song can be heard throughout the summer. They might sound scary, but they are not harmful. Cicadas spend most of their lives underground. Some cicadas are annuals, meaning they emerge from the ground at different times each summer. Only seven species of cicadas are called periodical cicadas. They emerge from the ground after 13 or 17 years. Periodical cicadas live only in some parts of the United States. Cicadas are herbivores. They drink the sap from tree roots, twigs and branches. Look at this large beetle with horns on its head, very much like the rhino. This is Rhinoceros Beetle. Only male beetles have these horns-like projections. Rhino beetles are herbivores. And harmless insects. They are also known as Hercules beetle because of their strength. They are super strong. Rhinoceros beetles are among the strongest in the world, able to lift 850 times. 
times their body weight. By learning about these diverse creatures, we can protect the good insects can do. So keep learning more about the importance of insects. Value their presence in the environment.